Hey guys, so I am here on Media Day and I went to the Sony presentation not exactly expecting to see anything space related, but look at this nano satellite behind me. This is Starsphere and this is a way that Sony wants to make space available to the masses. Now, if you were tracking SpaceX launches, you'll know that SpaceX launched 114 small satellites on Tuesday, and this was actually one of those satellites that was launched on a Falcon 9, and it was really cool to be able to see this here in person, this one-to-one -one scale behind me. So I wanted to talk to John, who's gonna tell me more, tell us more about how you can actually use this at home. For sure, so Starsphere is the ability to take uh, the space experience and bring it to the masses, right? Our, our Starsphere satellite, as you can see here, launched yesterday. Uh, and um, later on this year, when the service does go live, we'll give users the ability to rent out time and actually experience a full orbit around space, not to mention uh, the ability to control the satellite as well, download pictures that you've taken, download videos that you've taken, and, and be that astronaut that we all want to be. Yeah, uh, so if I'm a user at home, you know, how much does this cost? So the prices haven't been confirmed yet. That's something we haven't announced yet, but it will be launching later this year. Uh, so that's something that we'll be announcing very soon. Who is like your target customer or, you know, I guess person who you want to experience this? Uh, really to the masses. There isn't really a general target for this. Um, ultimately, is if this is uh, something that you're into, of course, if you're, if you're big into space, I'm personally from Houston, so we frequent the, uh, the Johnson Space Center quite often. So yeah, if this is something that you're into and something that you want to experience, this is this is definitely the Sony product for you. Yeah, and you said this was your first satellite launched ever, right? Uh, I believe so. I'm not too sure there were any other previous satellites yeah. before. Uh, for this particular project, definitely, this was the first one yesterday. And this is a 1-1 a one -one scale, you said? Yes, it is. Yeah, absolutely. We do have some of the details over here as well. Awesome. Yeah. Um, why is it important for the masses to be able to experience this uh, perspective? Uh, there, there's there's quite a bit of reasons and, and ultimately just being able to experience it just because this is uh, something I guess that's never been done before right like the the ability to experience something like this typically is extremely expensive right if you got to hitch a ride on a rocket ship do all that stuff I'm sure there's some training involved which I'm not really very keen to uh, but in this case um, anybody if you if you're a uh, uh, um, a parent making sure that you want to educate your children and make them more familiar with this inspire them to be more creative in the future be creatives in the future which is a big part of our mission statement this is definitely a, a great uh, opportunity for everyone yeah. Yeah. so obviously it launched yesterday tuesday uh so when when will this be you said later this year maybe people yeah, start there, there isn't a date that's confirmed yet but later this year the full service will go live in the u.s and japan uh, but yes, that's that's something we'll be uh, announcing later this year. I saw that. Right now, it'll only be in the U.S. and Japan, correct? For now, for now yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, so this is the simulator here that we are going to check out. So, Yeah, so here in the simulator, we offer four different versions of what you can see. So, uh, otherworldly Earth, dual colored sea, remarkable uh, night view, and uh, fascinating space. So as we go through and say we start, you direct to the monitor. It'll load up. And this is going to show you the Libya desert. And then so if you come over here, and if you actually want to play with it, you'd be more than welcome to. So you can adjust as you see our satellites right there. And so as we kind of go up and down, you can see it's making the adjustments where you see different Whoa. elevations. And we can kind of zoom out. And then over here, you can kind of see it's showing us all our how far we're zooming. And then over here, it's showing us how we're tilting. Over here, it's showing us how we're panning. And then of course, you can see the adjustments as they're happening in re real time. So you or whoever is operating at this time will be able to essentially book time because um, the satellite is constantly rotating the Earth and right. it'll, it'll rotate 15 times within a day. And so you'll basically pick like, okay, I know it in two days from now, the satellite will be over, let's just say as this right here showing you Africa, um, I could be able to get pictures from that location and from that area. So wow. this, as you see, is adjusting our latitude and longitude. So the satellite, as you see, is we're moving up. How, how 
how much demand do you think there's going to be? Do you think it's going to be hard to find a, a slot? No, uh, <laughs> so hard to know, right? Correct. Yeah. At, at first, I'm sure there will be availabilities, but as time goes on and it will grow, it will be a big thing. Um, I know how it was kind of pitched and presented to me as like yourself, a content creator. I mean, you make yeah. videos. I mean, how cool would it be to have actual videos or photos from space that you could edit in there? Because the reality of you being able to acquire something like this on your own is it's hard or absorbently expensive. So this kind of kills two birds with one stone. And so kind of like John was telling you earlier, like it's, it's a large masses. So whether you're a, a student, whether you're somebody just interested in space or you're a content creator like yourself, was kind of a niche for, for everybody. Not only did we learn about their nano satellite star sphere, we also learned about Aphila. I wasn't expecting to see a car prototype unveiling here. This is their new electric vehicle that they are working on. So a lot of developments that I just wasn't expecting to see. Um, it's been pretty cool experience so far here at CES and I'm excited that, you know, they included me as media and we are here on sort of the media day. So I want to know what you guys think about the Star Sphere. Is this something that you would like to use when it is finally rolled out and available for us here on Earth? I think that uh, it's a really interesting idea to have it available to the masses and kind of grab a slot and be able to take pictures of whatever part of the globe that you want to see from space. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is just one of many kind of space related things here at the Consumer Electronics Show. I'm really excited to find stuff that is actually relevant to my Ellie and Space channel. So I'm going to bring you as much space related stuff as I can while I'm here. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Ellie and Space if you haven't already. It's completely free and it really helps out the channel. All right, I'll see you in the next video.